guys. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> God, I need to put a I need to put a hat on. Hold on. I go to a lot of conventions with these things on. I love object head cosplaying. It's so insanely fun. But I get a ton of questions about how I made it, what the screen is made out of, how I found the TV. So I decided to make the be all end all guide on how to easily make your very own TV head cosplay. Before we jump in, post a lot of cool content on Instagram. Please hit me with a follow. It would mean the world to me, guys. Without further ado, let's hop in to the full tutorial. The first step, obviously, is finding a monitor that's gonna work for you. I recommend using a computer monitor because they're usually smaller on the inside and usually come in more suitable sizes. I highly recommend using a 13-inch CRT monitor. A 13-inch monitor is really easy to work with, easy to transport, and once the phone goes inside, which we'll get to later, will actually fit to your head much better. TVs are usually easier to find, so you can find a smaller old TV. That'll definitely work too. Try checking Craigslist, your local Facebook marketplaces. I advise against eBay because usually they're really overpriced and have insanely high shipping costs. If you can stick to local pickup, it'll just make everything a lot easier. As long as it's a small computer monitor, a small TV, it should be easy to work with. And all the things I'm gonna tell you should apply generally the same. Now that you have your monitor or TV in your home, we get to take it apart. And this this part is actually fairly simple. There are usually simply four or five screws on the back that come out and the rest is just the whole thing falling out. As you can see in my video, I had a little bit of an issue, but as long as you're careful, it should go pretty smoothly. And a note about being careful, there are these massive capacitors on the inside that if your TV's been turned on any point in time recently, please do not touch them. Make sure you ground yourself. They can hold massive amounts of voltage. And if you touch them, you can get pretty seriously shocked. So please be careful, avoid the capacitors, don't touch them, ground yourself, do everything you can to not touch the capacitors. Once you have the inside separated, dispose of it properly. Now, if everything went well, you should have the empty shell of your TV head. Make sure you save those screws because you're going to need them to put the whole thing back together later. After that, put the TV back together with the screws I told you to save earlier, and we're going to work on cutting the head hole. Use one of these things to measure your head and then cut a hole that's about two inches bigger than that to make sure you'll have enough room for your piping insulation, which we'll talk about later. Generally, I recommend a radius of five inches, but work with your head. Make sure it fits to you properly, okay? I recommend using a jigsaw, one of those little hand, hand saws. That's gonna cut through the plastic of the TV incredibly well. Find yourself a friend that has a jigsaw, ask to use their jigsaw, man. It's that, it's that simple. Just, just, just use a jigsaw, man. Pro tip, draw a circle in Sharpie to make your cutting all the more easier. Now we're gonna get to one of those fun parts, the painting. Make sure that you use some pretty high quality paint for this, otherwise it's gonna drip and just look really, really nasty. Don't go cheap on the paint, guys. It's what brings the whole aesthetic of the object head together. This part's pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you get plenty of paint and cover the whole outside. It'll be a lot easier if you leave the two pieces together. I highly recommend painting the bottom last because it'll make everything a lot easier, go a lot smoother, and look a lot more cleanly connected once you're done. This one I was making was pink specifically, and I had some issues with the paint, but don't be like me. Be smart. Use better paint than I did. We're gonna go ahead and let that dry, but in the meantime, you can be getting your couch foam together. Couch foam is what's really gonna make the object head fit like an actual helmet. It doesn't have to be couch foam specifically, but couch foam is very thick and it's gonna contour to your head very, very well. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Lowe's, you can get it most anywhere, but we're gonna put that on the inside to actually make the object head fit like a helmet and fit comfortably and snugly and allow you to actually wear it for extended periods of time. And now we're gonna move on to one of the most important parts of the whole process, creating your screen. You are gonna need two things. You're going to need plexiglass and you're gonna need window film. Both things you can get very easily on Amazon. Measure the inside of the screen and cut to the very edges that you can. Make sure that, that it fills in all the inside because it'll be a lot easier to glue and hold securely that way. I recommend using a bandsaw to cut it because it makes very clean, simple cuts and works very efficiently. When it comes to window film, I use reflective window film because I feel like it holds that old, you know, sort of CRT glass vibe. But I know a lot of people like to use regular black window film. Either way is up to you as long as it it's window cling film, the kind that people use in their sunrooms and stuff. I'll put a link to a few down in the description. I'll put the link to the one that I use, but either one is gonna be totally fine. The application instructions are usually pretty universal. Just give it some soapy water spray, use a squeegee, push it down on there, give it a few cuts, and you have your screen. By this point in time, your TV head should be fully painted and fully dried, and now we can start putting the whole 
everything together. Measure and cut your couch foam into three pieces to match the inside of your TV head. I recommend they extend from all the way in the back towards mostly all the way into the front, keeping it back just a little bit to make sure that people can't see it through the screen. I also cut these using a bandsaw, but you can use an electric knife or just some scissors or just a knife really, because it's just foam, it's really super simple to cut. Put on the sides and the top of the shell using 3M90 spray adhesive. Any spray adhesive will work, but I highly recommend 3M90 because it's gonna give that super duper strong hold. Just really keep the foam in there whenever you're jostling it around on your head, looking around a whole bunch, walking around a convention all day. It's really gonna help you out. I recommend putting it on both sides. Just smushing them in there, man. Putting them in there, just keeping them all nice and secure. While that's drying, you can affix your screen to the front panel of your actual TV. I recommend using liquid nails or silicone caulking. Each one of those will hold super duper wonderfully and will actually be able to flex depending on how much the actual plastic of your TV head moves. Don't coat it, but use as much as you can and then smush that in there, hold it for a little bit and let it dry. I highly recommend that you put the film side out because otherwise the film can very easily peel off. And now using the screws I told you to save earlier, if you did everything correctly, you can put them back together. And lastly, but certainly not least, I recommend putting some piping insulation around the bottom so that way it doesn't abrase your neck and also it keeps light from filtering in so the two-way mirror effect is increased tenfold in that situation. And if you followed everything correctly, you should have your very own TV head. A quick, simple, easy TV head that you can wear to conventions with whatever outfit you choose. What you do beyond the painting, outfit design, everything is up to you, man. It could be your character, a theme you want to fit. I personally love Yami Kawaii, but it can be steampunk, dapper, you name it, man. It's up to you. Just have fun with it. I will be answering any questions you may have in the comments down below. If I forgot anything, please let me know. I'll pin your comments, anything. I want to help you guys make one of these because there's so much fun to do. Beyond that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was informative. Please hit me up on Instagram if you make one of these and want to show it to me. I would love to see them, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Have fun.